Constructing your life is about much more than just building a bank account. Each week, join real estate entrepreneur and mindset coach Austin Linney as he interviews guests who are constructing their dream lives and impacting the world around them on a daily basis. If you're an entrepreneur or wanting to start a business, or you just want to hear motivating stories of how others have overcome the odds, you are in the right place. And now for your host, Austin Linney. Guys, welcome back to Construct Your Life. Uh, this is Austin Linney with your Wednesday rant. Uh, we're going to talk today about bucket list items, about trips that you want to take, experiences, so on and so on. So I might get a little saucy on this one because this is something I truly believe in. You know, we all have these things in life that we, we put off all the time. You know, there's all these trips that we want to take. There's all these experiences that we want to give our kids. These all these things that we dreamed about since we were 12 years old, you're now 45, you're 35, you're 50 years old, and you haven't done any of these things. And, you know, bucket list items are great, but uh, one of the episodes back, Aaron and Mrs. Stegi said that if it's not on your calendar, it doesn't mean shit. And that's the truth. And so, you know, we are, are trying to get to this arbitrary uh, goal or this arbitrary thing, and, and that's when we're going to start living our life. And isn't that the most asinine, ridiculous way to look at stuff? I mean, it doesn't even make any sense to me. What's the name of the damn podcast? Construct Your Life. So you're constructing a lifestyle, not a bank account. So you're constructing a lifestyle around your job, your family, what you want out of life. Because the money, and, and get who doesn't want money? I want money. Everybody wants money. But, but the money is a binary tool to construct the lifestyle that you're looking. So, you know, just in the last two weeks alone, I've had seven investors reach out to me and say, you know, we sold everything we own. We're getting an RV for two for a year with our kids and we're just going to travel to the United States. These are people that are 39, 42, 26. And what I'm saying is that they're choosing to live a life and they're choosing to let their job be part of the life, but not be the life. And, so many people are wrapped up in the identity of their job. They don't even know who they are anymore. And that is ridiculous. You're not your job. It's a part of your life. But what are you doing the rest of the time? Right? And you, you have all these trips. You have all these experiences. And I made a conscious decision uh, about a month and a half ago that I will no longer put shit off. Obviously, you have to do things in stages. But I've knocked off, you know, six or seven bucket list items. Uh, one time it was in the same week. And, you know, I'm just saying yes to things. And it's, it's working out. And I'm getting work done on the road. And the team's working great. And it truly is what the podcast name is. You're, you're focusing on the things that make you happy. And by making you happy, the business and the opportunities and the family life come to you tenfold, right? And so that trip that you always wanted to take, take it. The date that you wanted to have with your spouse, take it because tomorrow's not promised. And so, you know, you, we put off these things and like, my question to you is like, who the hell is going to enjoy Italy at 65 years old? You want to walk up and down those steps? Screw that. Do it at 32. And, 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 and here I got a message to my 20 year olds, anybody in their twenties. Fuck off. Do whatever the hell you want to do. Disappear. Go to Europe for a year. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Like, I guarantee you, if you hang around me long enough, I'm going to make you move to Europe. That's damn, that's damn true. Ask, ask Sal, ask my buddy. I made him, he went on a six month trip. I went on a two and a half month trip. I never regretted a single moment of that. It was an amazing trip. And guess what? The world kept spinning. It kept spinning. I know it's a crazy scenario the job and your little community and your life keeps on spinning, baby, no matter where you're at. And so the question that you have to ask yourself is what are you doing every day to fill up your bucket, right? Your bucket list, meaning what makes you happy. And if you're a photographer, if you're, if you want to raise goats, I don't care what the hell you want to do, but just do it and stop making excuses why it's not the time. Because that's what we do as a society and that's what we do. We excuse the shit out of it until we don't have to deal with it anymore. And guess what? You bring those excuses to me and I'm going to shove them right back in your face. It's as simple as that. 
I don't want to hear it. I don't care. It doesn't matter. And more importantly, it doesn't matter what anybody thinks. So if you and your family want to go milk goats on an island somewhere in Costa Rica for six months and make cheese, then go do it. I don't even know where I came up with that, but I just came up with it. It doesn't matter, guys. But we make these excuses or, more importantly, this is the bigger thing, we get ourselves in a financial spot with a house that we can't afford and credit cards that we can't pay, and that doesn't allow us to travel. Go minimalist or scale down and go do all the things that you want to go do instead of the other way around. If this virus has taught us anything is that we don't need a lot in life. I am a man right now who is living in an Airbnb. I've been on the road for like 80 days. I've got seven boxes, two bikes, and some clothes to my name. I'm great. How are you doing with all that shit in the attic that that you haven't seen in 20 years? For your big ass house that you don't even see your kids in. I grew up in a big house. It was a nightmare. We never saw each other. The family disconnected. I'm not saying that you can't have a big house and be connected, but I'm telling you that's my, that is my truth why I don't want a big house because that I, I feel like ripped our family apart. So call it what you will. Everybody went off to their separate scenarios. So, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, take the trip, take all these things that you want to go do. I don't give a crap if it's just going to a national park an hour away. But we want to turn on Netflix, we want to drink, or we want to, you know, do the 9 million things that distract us from doing the things that we actually love. Everybody says, dude, when are you going to go on vacation? I said, what vacation? What the fuck is that? My life is a vacation. I'm doing exactly what I want to do with beautiful scenery. Who? Vacation. Vacation. I was down in Costa Rica and they said, oh my God, dude, slow down. Stop looking at real estate down there. I said, what are you talking about? I'm probably going to buy a hotel here eventually. I love this. And so my question to you is when you're slepping into the office, right? Or you're slepping in rush hour traffic, wouldn't you rather just say, hey, boss, hey, whatever. You know, I'm going to take off Friday and I'm going to go take my kids. And I promise you when you're young kids touch their toes in the water for the first time or on a beach somewhere or whatever, you're never going to regret that decision because there's no amount of money on this world that can beat that feeling when you give those gifts to your kids or you give those gifts to yourself more importantly. And we have a tendency to get wrapped up into, I got to do this. I got to do that. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is is strategically put yourself in a position to live the life that you choose to live. It's as simple as that. But what we get caught with bills and we get caught with mortgages and all this stuff that doesn't matter because what really matters is what's on that. If you're, if, if you are, let's say you just been with your wife like for 20 years and y'all been talking about an Italy trip for 20 years and you haven't taken it sad. It's sad. Seriously. And I'm just using that as an example because I did that in my marriage. We always were like, oh, we'll do it later. We'll push it off. And guess what? We got divorced. And we didn't do any of those fucking things. And I'm not saying that was the reason we got divorced. But what I'm saying is it doesn't help, you know, because these things are what are in the imprints of your mind. When I'm having a bad day, or, or, or I'm meditating, I go back to these beautiful mountains that I've seen or the beach or the ocean. Or the, This is what it's about, guys. Get out of the house, turn off the damn TV and get out in nature or get on a plane and go to Italy or sit and drink your tea. It doesn't matter. But just make sure that you don't say, we'll do it next time anymore. So I hope you got some Uh, I went on a crazy rant there. So I hope you got some value from that and uh, we'll talk to you later. Thank you so much.
Thank you for listening to Construct Your Life with Austin Lenny. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to rate, review, subscribe, and pay it forward by sharing with a friend. Most importantly, take this opportunity to start constructing your life by taking immediate action on what you learn. For show notes, resources, and more information on one-on-one coaching with Austin, visit constructyourlifepodcast.com.